Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, this is my Axial Bomber. I got this truck in a trade, I don't know, six months to a year ago maybe. It is completely loaded, Vanquish, Hot Racing, Castle Censored uh, combo, everything. RC four-wheel drive rims. I've even got the matching spare. I purchased that. Uh, pit bulls, everything. Now, I'm going to make something really clear though. I'm not a crawler trail guy at all. I've got a couple of trucks, but I don't, I'm not really a trail guy. Anybody that watches the channel knows I do bashers and that's pretty much about it. But since I've had this truck, I've always wanted to just kind of, you know, give it my kind of a take on it, change up the body and stuff like that. Now, what's funny is I did purchase a clear body, but once I got it and I got out the sticker sheet, I actually was like, oh, those would actually look really good on that carbon fiber kind of panel. But whatever, we're still going to paint the body. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to paint the roof pink. I've already cleaned the panel. It's over there. And I'm going to get an idea of how this pink looks. I've got a pink and a blue. I'm not doing a combination or anything like that. I'm not doing a, like trying to do some masking paint job because I'm not good at that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the roof pink, back it, let it dry, set it on the truck and see how it looks. Because I thought if it ends up not looking good and I decide I want to go with the blue, I'll just leave the carbon fiber look one on with the blue panels and that'll look good. So we're going to get to, again, painting that top panel first. We're going to paint it pink and then we're going to see how it looks. All right, guys, we're back inside. I've got the one panel painted like I said I was gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the protective film and then we'll remove the screws, put this on, see how it looks, uh, and maybe even just try one of the decals. I don't think I'm gonna be using the blue bomber decals, these ones right here, if I end up going with the blue paint. I just don't think it'll be a look that I like. So I don't mind if I end up wasting one because I don't end up using the pink, that's okay. Anyways, let's get to removing the film.
guys. There's the pink. Definitely pink. I know that might sound kind of weird to say or ridiculous to say, but it's very pink. Um, so let's get an idea here. So now picture how those would look on there. Hey, you know what? Let's just... All right, guys, we're outside. I just wanted to see exactly what the color's going to look like. And there's it is with the sticker. I don't know. This is a tough call. Not sure what I'm going to do here. But for me, I'm going to take an hour or so to decide. And for you guys, uh, you're going to know right now. All right, guys, I went for the blue. What can I say? Um, you know, the pink was nice, but I don't know. When I had them, when I had the, the, the pink sitting on the truck, I just wasn't feeling it. You know, the two colors do look kind of cool together. Maybe if I had done, you know, a little bit of pink accent with the body type thing in a few spots, maybe that would have worked. But either way, I decided to end up going with the blue. Um, I do like blue. It's probably, it actually is my favorite color. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get these panels on the truck and see how it looks. Right, guys there you have it so you know i kind of surprised myself going with the stickers i uh, when i had it all together i i liked the blue and then i just kind of grabbed the decals and thought hey I wonder how this is going to look and the two shades of blue actually looked really good together so i decided to go with it but what can i say it's done now it's got a little bit of a different look to it uh, and i don't mind the roof with you know having the older um like the old carbon pile panel on it I think it still looks good. It was lucky that I still had one of the axial stickers left that I could kind of put on the top just to blend the blue a little bit. But overall, guys, I'm super happy. Um, and again, I did not build this truck. That's why you guys don't really see a lot of videos on it. Um, I got it in a trade. I've changed quite a bit on it and tuned it a lot different for, um, instead of it being, you know, like an actual rock racer, I kind of made it more into a trail rig. So it has the uh, Crawler Innovations uh, double loose foams and a 2850 kV censored motor in it so it was a little slower than what it was when I got it, it had a 3500 kV in it when I got it but I really like the look of rock racers so even though you know I know there's scale trucks and all that kind of stuff for the trails I just always really like the look of rock racers I think they look cool so that's why I tried to turn this one into more of a trail truck uh, as you can see here the spare tire doesn't have a foam in it I find that way just you know if you end up coming up or you're trying to climb 
you can actually, you know, the, the tire, the spare tire itself isn't, you know, impacting your incline um, or anything like that. So that's why yeah, I was just kind of showing you guys there what happens when you lay down on that back tire. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different. It's uh, not my usual kind of videos, but I thought it was fun. And again, I've never done anything. I don't really have any content on the bomber on the channel. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'm going to throw this up here today. Anyways, guys, as always, if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And there's a few more picks coming. Enjoy.